Haleluya watu wa Mungu. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe kanisa. Amen. Haleluya. Haleluya. Hivyo ni siku nyingine tena Jumatano Mungu wetu ama mwanzilishi ndani ya mtumishi wake ametukirimia, ametupa uzima, amemimina pumzi yake katika maisha yetu siku ya leo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen kwa tumekuja mbele zake kumwabudu na kumtukuza tukisubiri ule wakati wa neno ambalo litakuja katika moyo wetu Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Hivyo tunaenda kumtukuza Usiangalie ile shida yako Usiangalie yale matatizo ulionayo Safakari ule uzima Mungu wetu amwanzilishi ametupa siku ya leo ametukirimia amenipa mimi na wewe Bwana Yesu asifiwe Haleluya. Haleluya. Halipo roho. Hakika hakuna lisilowezekana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
Tumechupa ulinzi Safakari haya maneno Hakika Mungu wetu amwanzilishi kwa pamoja nasi Ametuwezesha jioni hii ya leo Hakika ni wingi wa rehema zake na fadhili zake Yeye kupewa sifa na utukufu Maana hakuna aliye kama Mungu wetu
Tumpia Mungu mwanzilishi makofi ya shukurani. Tumpia mwanzilishi utukufu. Tumpia Mungu mwanzilishi utukufu. Haleluya. Amenita nikaitika maisha yangu yote na mpa Bwana. Amenita nikaitika Maisha yangu yote na mpabwana Amenita nikaitika Maisha yangu yote na mpabwana
ishara because signs zinafuatana will follow na wale waaminio with those who believe somee mariko hiyo 16 17 Anasema ishara hizi he said these signs zinafuatana na wale waamini will follow them that believe kwa jina langu atatoa pepo in my name they'll cast Tena out demons kwa lugha mpya and again they'll speak in new tongues sasa kama ishara zimekwama so if the signs are stuck yale uliokuwa na imani nayo all those things you had faith in hata yakikujia maishani usikii kutingishika and even when they come into your life you don't shake leo yakija ni wasiwasi hofu but, and when they come today you are filled with worries and Maybe fear umeacha kuamini Maybe you're for second believing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Usome. Na ishara hizi zitafuatana na hao waaminio. Kwa jina langu watatoa pepo, watasema kwa lugha mpya. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you see ni kwa ni kwaambia wa ndugu hapa. That's why recently I told brothers here. Mwingine anasema one is saying siku hizi wahubiri hawasikii na Mungu tena. These days preachers are no longer heard by God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maana ana mambo because of some things ambayo hayaokoki which are not receiving salvation na zamani alikuwa akiokoka and initially they were saved anaokolewa nayo akiomba you will be saved out of them when you pray. Sasa badala ya kutafuta so instead of now searching what, what word of god have i forsaken siku hizi you are saying this day jana ndio walikuwa watu wanasikiwa na mungu it is only yesterday the preachers were heard by Lakini god lakini leo but today ah ta no they are no longer heard by god na yesu ni yule jana and jesus is the same yesterday alisema ombeni mtapata he said you pray and you receive Hasemi ni watu gani waombe? He said which people should pray? Hasemi mhubiri waombe utapata. He does not say the preacher should pray. Hasemi wewe mkristo wewe. He is talking to you as a Christian. Wewe ni amini mimi. Who is believing in me? Waomba utapata. You pray and you receive. Nisha nitakufungulia. You knock and I'll open for you. Tafuta utaona. You search and you will find. Sima pastor waombeni mtapata. Not pastors to pray and they get. Tafuteni mtaona. Or maybe sick and you'll find. Anasema waombeni mtapata. He says you pray and you'll get. Akena nani? Who are those people? Watu wote. All those people. Unaoni who believe in me you pray and you'll get you knock and I'll open and you are saying this day that no longer heard by god who are those hallelujah hallelujah naye anasema katika matayo ombeni nanyi mtapata you pray and you receive bisheni nanyi mtafunguliwa you knock and it will be opened for you tafuteni nanyi mtaona you seek and you will find ni wewe na mimi anakuambia so, tafuta utaona it is you and me we are taught to seek Kujaona and to find kujaona utafuti You have not found because you are not seeking. Wataka utafute na nani? Who is to seek for you? Na alisema tafuta utaona. And he said you seek and you'll find. Bisha utafunguliwa. You knock and it will be open for you. Ujafunguliwa maana hubishi. You, it is not open because you are not knocking. Lakini abishaye. But whoever is knocking. Pasipo kuchoka. Without getting weary. Pasipo kukatamaa. Without fainting anafunguliwa. The door will be open for him. Niwe hubishi tena. It's because you are no longer knocking. Umechoka umekatamaa. You are got weary and you are fainting. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana kinachofanya kazi because the thing that is working ni imani ya mtu is personal faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Tusome Mathayo 9:27. Let us read from the book of Matthew 9. Watu wakamwendea bwana Yesu. So people went to Jesus Christ. Wawili vipofu. Two people blind men. Wakasema Yesu mwana wa Daudi turehemu. And they said Jesus son of David have mercy on us. Yesu mwana wa Daudi turehemu. Jesus son of David have mercy on us. Akaingia kwa nyumba wakamfuata. He entered into a certain house they followed Wao, him. Wakaingia humo. They also went in. Turehemu mwana wa Daudi. Have mercy on us son of David. Oh. Okay. Nataka niwafanyie nini? What do you want me to do to you? Nataka kuona. We want to receive back our sight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Akawauliza. He asked them. Je, mnaamini lile mnalotafuta kwangu mimi naweza kuwafanyia? Do you believe that I'm able? Wakasema na. To give you what you want? They said yes, Lord. Mnaamini kwamba mimi Do you believe that? Naweza kufanya hili. I am able to do this. Mna hakika moyoni? Do you have the assurance in your heart? Mnaamini hapa moyoni? Do you believe in your heart? Diki hii that this tribulation Usibahu. or this problem you have mimi naweza kuwaondolea that i am able to remove it from you wakasema naam they said yes lord imani yenu mpate so according to your faith may you receive so man read for us 
Yesu alipokuwa akipita kutoka huko vipofu wawili wakamfuata wakipaza sauti wakisema uturehemu mwana wa Daudi naye alipofika nyumbani wale vipofu walimwendea Yesu akawaambia mnaamini kwamba naweza kufanya hili wakamwambia naam bwana ndipo alipogusa macho yao so, ndipo alipogusa macho akasema kwa kadri ya imani yenu mpate amen ndio and when jesus departed thence two blind men followed him crying and saying thou son of david have mercy on us and when he was come into the house the blind man came to him and jesus said unto them believe ye that i am able to do this they said unto him ya lord then touched he their eyes saying according to your faith be it unto you akawagusa macho yao he touched their eyes wakapata kuona and they received their sight akawauliza he asked them munaamini mimi naweza kufanya hili do you believe that i am able to do this naam bwana they said yes lord hallelujah hallelujah yaweza kuwa waja kweli maybe you are coming lakini waja huku moyoni unashaka but you are coming while doubting in your heart sijui hii ni kansa i don't know whether this is cancer na kansa haina tiba and cancer has no treatment sijui hii ni nini i don't know what is this lakini waja tu but you are just coming kuombewa to be prayed for lakini kule moyoni but in your heart unashaka na huyo mwokozi you are doubting the savior sijui nitawezekana hili i don't know whether this is possible sijui nitawezekana hili i don't know whether this is possible haleluya haleluya lakini waja but you are coming ndio utaona that's why you find utaombewa kweli haviji we'll pray for you but never receive anything mwako, because in your heart unashaka you are doubting una hakika, you have no assurance that jesus is able to heal you out of this